Oh boy, it's been a phenomenal start to the Tata IPL 2024 on the ground with the action. But considering that our digital community is 50 million strong, we have an absolutely unique offering. You see it, it's the Star Sports Press Room, where members of the media, our friends from print, TV and digital, they get to engage with our incredible star cast on a one-on-one -on -one basis. It's the first time that we are doing this. I'm sure that our friends have a lot of questions that they want to ask the legends of the game who have made this experience of watching the Tata IPL absolutely fantastic. How has the first week been with our incredible star cast? Let's find out. I'm just really excited about getting over to India and experiencing the IPL 2024. Well, if you want it, you could turn the volume down and watch the action, but nobody does that because the legends of the game, you want to hear them. I want to pick their brains, so without any further ado, let's call on the first guest on Star Sports Press Room. He is a two-time World Cup winner. He's also a, an IPL winning coach. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the very tall, Tom Moody. Moods, I'll just step here. Good to have you, sir. This Good is to be here. the Star Sports Press Room. Are you ready to answer the question from the media? That's one thing which I always worry about. I always get scared. How are you ready for this? I'm absolutely ready for this. I'm used to this being, <laughs> you know, hounded by the press. Right. Hopefully it's going to be some kind questions coming my way. Well, when you were playing, you were hounded by the media. When you were the coach, you were hounded by the media. So let's call on the friends from digital, print and TV who are right here. And we've got Noel, we've got Neharika, we've got Prasanna, Pratyay, Shubhanjan. Oh, there are lots of them. I'll probably like take all evening just to get the names right. Right. So who's asking the first question to Tom Moody? Akash Biswas. Sir, could you? Yes, there he is. Akash, please go ahead with your question for Tom. Yeah, hi Tom. Um, um, hello everyone. Happy early to everybody. Uh, my question is, since the all since all ten teams have played, you know, one game each. According to you, which team looks the most uh, look the most balanced so far? Yeah, good question. It's it's still very early days, obviously, in the uh, Tata IPL. But just the snapshot I've seen over the weekend, I think Rajasthan Royals look really well organised. Uh, the way they deployed their impact sub, I thought, was very clever. Tactically on the field, they were, you know, very, very sound. And the other thing, their captain scoring runs. Sandy Sampson, I think, is a real tick for them. So, to me, they look organised. And Chennai Super Kings right. always are organised. They got off to a good start. That was a big match, that first match. And for them to, you know, retain that sort of dominance at home was really important. Well, if the Tata IPL was the storm, the week preceding the start of the tournament was the calm. But well, when it comes to the IPL, nothing is ever calm, is it? Because so many of these captains of various teams change. But we also have another question coming in from uh, Gomesh. Hi, Tom. Uh, Gomesh here from Chennai. I just wanted to ask your first impression on Asmatullah Omar Zai and the role he is seemed to be allotted for him, Gujarat Titans, which is very closer to what Hardik was doing, a bit of post up front and in the middle lot of batting. Uh, your first impression on him in this league? Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, Omar Zai, I thought, had a really good start to his, his campaign. And it's interesting, it looks like Gujarat Titans are looking to get him to fill the Hardik Pandya role. I, I believe, though, batting four is probably one or two slots a bit high for him. You know, he's more of an impact player sort of down that back end of the order. And for him to take the new ball in front of Spencer Johnson also surprised me. You know, Spencer Johnson is a specialist new ball bowler. So to delay his uh, deployment into the bowling attack, you know, to about the 10th, 11th over was a surprise to me. Well, it's considering that we've seen the first week of action and all these teams have played one game each, we are now looking forward to the coming week. Who's caught your attention? Which team has caught your attention? Well, I, th I think Rajasthan is, uh, is looking particularly strong um, to me. Uh, we all know CSK at home is, is going to be dominant. 
Um, the one thing that I did notice over the first round of games was that it looked like a lot of new captains <laughs> were finding their feet. You know, there's a few interesting tactical decisions, right. which, you know, I think that on review, they'll look at and think maybe we could have done it differently. Right. Um, but in general, I think after the first game or two, they'll settle in. We've also got to recognise there's a few new coaches. So that relationship's important as well between the captain and the coach. All right, so many of these captains changing, but the biggest news maker, well, it had to be MS Dhoni when he relinquished the captaincy and handed over the reins to Rutharaj Kaikwad. We managed to catch up with the captains ahead of the start of the season. I'm really excited because I haven't played cricket in a while. Any team which will come will be my opponent. To take care of the small things, you know, the big things, they take care of themselves. And you might get to meet them in your gully or at your home. Oh. Eight captains join you on this journey. Dominica festival is the world and to experience karna I would like to go with the same mindset which we did last time and let's hope for the best. Part. I'm really excited for this year, so let's go. Well, this was at the beginning of the tournament and uh, one thing is for sure that what these captains are saying is going to change quite a lot. But I already see another familiar face joining us on the Star Sports press room. Ladies and gentlemen, he was the 2003 World Cup runner-up. He's been a coach with the Delhi Capitals and that was a very, very sweet tenure for Mohamed Kef. And also introducing somebody who's brought a lot of smiles, especially with his bowling and his coach. He loves winning the IPL. We've got Lakshmi Pati Balaji. Kev Bhai, Bala sir, welcome to the Star Sports Press Room. We've got our friends from the media who want to bombard you with questions. Two of them have already come Tom Moody's way. Now the party's clearly on. So the first question, Niharika Raina. There she is from INS. Ma'am, please go ahead and uh, ask a question and do let us know who you are addressing it to. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my question is for Kev, sir. Okay. Um, he, ha he has been a member of the DC camp in the, in the IEPL. So, just want to know from Kev, sir, uh, what were the emotions in his mind on seeing Rishabh return to the field against the Punjab Kings and him being in the midst of action going through his roles? Ah. I think uh, it was uh, a very emotional moment because uh, Rishabh Pant uh, has been out for almost a year and what he has gone through, it was a very difficult phase for him and for all of us, you know, his fans, the way he has played for India has been the match winner. We missed him playing for country and of course Delhi Capitals and yeah, he's back now, he's back now, he's fit, he's been, he's been running around, he's been diving around, he kept well, he batted well, so no, good to see him back. Uh, even though they lost the first game, but I'm sure Rishabh Pant will uh, will play well and, and captain well uh, this year. Right, Niharika, I hope uh, you got the answer that you were looking for. Where is the next question coming in from? Akshay Ramesh, I believe, sir, you are next in line to ask your question. Uh, hi, 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 everyone. Happy Holi. Uh, this ah, is Akshay. Happy Holi. Uh, my question is for uh, Tom Moody. Uh, Tom, uh, having been a successful coach yourself, uh, uh, how did you look at Hardik Pandya's uh, captaincy debut for Mumbai Indians? Did he look a little more jittery than how he looked at Gujarat Titans? And just one more thing, how how can, how much of a role can a coach play in uh, influencing a captain? Like, can a coach make a captain look good? That's my question. Yeah, look, there's, there's no doubt the relationship between coach and captain is absolutely key. And that's a new relationship that's just forming at MI now with Boucher and Hardik Pandya. So that's going to take time to gel and to, to work uh, effectively. And that's got nothing to do with the game yesterday. Uh, with Hardik's first game, I'd agree with you. I, I think he looked a little bit tentative. He looked a little bit anxious. Uh, the captain that we saw over the last couple of years at, uh, at the Titans was a very relaxed and very much in control uh, leader. Uh, but he's got a few challenges you know, in front of him. He's at a, at a huge franchise at Mumbai Indians and he's got some big time players around him that are also got a huge amount of experience and also have got captaincy experience. So he's having to step up even further. Right. Akshay, that's the question which was on everyone's mind and you have asked that question. Thank you so much for that. Our next question is coming from Megha Malik and uh, I request all our friends here, if you could also mention the name of the organization and who you want to ask the question to. 
Uh, hello everyone, this is Megha from Times Now. Uh, I wanted to ask Tom Moody sir that uh, about yesterday's uh, afternoon game, uh, we saw Ryan Parag play a real good hand in Rajasthan's win. So, do you think his attitude and his mindset towards the game has changed a lot? Yeah, look, it, it was great to see uh, Parag do well because there's no doubt over the last couple of years he's been under a, a lot of scrutiny. Uh, he's been given a lot of opportunity, a lot of people have questioned whether he should be in the in the playing 11. Uh, but clearly, RR have decided that this is the season on the back of a very good domestic season. This is the season that we're going to elevate him to, that, uh, to the top of the order at number four. We want him to own that position because we've got the power hitters of, of uh, Hepmeyer and Powell to be able to you know, do that finishing job. Uh, so maybe the timing of his injection in number four is very good because he's in form and he's also got a backlog of experience now in the IPL. Uh, Bala sir, what are your favourites? Do you want to use AI? Which team has done it? Definitely, innovation is always good. Right. So the technology is moving forward. The audience needs a lot of uh, innovation and the viewer side perspective of viewers. You need to have that fun and entertainment. And good thing is a lot of uh, innovative stuff are reaching people and making sure that it is going on trending. Stephen Smith is speaking in the world. Have you ever thought <laughs> that somebody would listen to Stephen Smith? Probably Tom will also follow that in the future. Probably technology will allow that to happen. So it is a good innovation to see. Kev by Steve Smith of Hindi Bolre Ab Dekliai. वो हिंदी बोल रहे हैं हम अंग्रेजी बोल रहे हैं भाई ये क्या चल रहा है मतलब देख लो आप पर बहुत शानदार बोल रहे हैं स्मिथ तो आई थिंक बड़ी अच्छी हिंदी बोल रहे हैं मजा आया Oh yes, we are all loving it. I mean, the kids also, the, the feed that we have on Disney Angama happens to be one of my favorite. Right, Niharika, uh, from INS, Niharika Raina, आपका एक सवाल जो है वो आप पूछना चाहती हैं किससे पूछना चाहती हैं ये भी बता दीजिए uh, my question is for Balaji, sir. Like, okay. this is concerning yesterday's game between Gujarat and Mumbai and Ahmedabad. So, I just want to know his opinion on how he found the Gujarat Titans defensive bowling in the last five overs, considering they were defending the total with a wet ball in hand. Well, definitely. Last night, what they did is impressed me a lot because they had the setback. Shami was not available this season. Right away, they have to make a, a, a little bit a new Kamazi entry, uh, Umazai perfectly fitted with our seam positions right. and all these things with the condition where it was a little bit helpful with the new ball and then followed by Spencer Johnson who went for runs in the first uh, over then after that he came back and bowled that phenomenal over in the end. So the bowling attack is very important once it comes to IPL because this season we are seeing bowlers winning the matches so I'm sure this trend will continue. They adapted the condition of course you told about the due factor it is not easy as a spinner. Yeah, yeah to bowl in, the, in that condition. So, Rashid Khan, of course, with this experience, he has phenomenally managed. Sai Kishore, I'm very impressed. Ooh. The way he bowled and got that particular wicket of Rohit Sharma, it's outstanding. That is the turning point for me. And from there, they never looked back. Mohit Sharma, of course, came and did his tricks with the, But most importantly, they adapted to the condition really well. They, ne they didn't bowl a yorker at all in the back end of the overs. They just kept bowling short, making sure the batsmen go after the bowling with that horizontal shot. So that is phenomenal to watch for me. It was like a bar of soap at the Narendra Modi Cricket Stadium. Uh, all right, Tarun Shah from the Hindu. Sir, you uh, want to ask Yeah, hi, uh, this is Tarun Shastri from the Hindu. I want to ask uh, L Balaji. Hi, uh, <laughs> Sare are hai, Bala sir ki tarah, thak, 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 thak. Yes, sir. Uh, Patirana is fit and he's back now. And uh, Mustafa Zur bowled really well in the first game. Do you think uh, CSK will change? That is the first question. The second one is uh, Tushar Deshpande or Shardul Thakur. Who should uh, Rudraj Gaekwad go for? I think he's asking. Uh, not a member of our incredible star <laughs> cast, but maybe some insider of uh, the Chennai Super Kings. <laughs> See, obviously for a new entrant like Mustafa Zood to perform on the first game itself, it's phenomenal. Yeah. But what Patirana did was that cushion they wanted for a long time, uh, especially after Bravo. Bravo was giving that cushion to bowl the death overs. Patirana straight away fit into that role. So probably depends on how well the new ball bowlers bowl. So according to that, Probably Patirana will have to wait for me and uh, he has to know, wait for the chance because Mustafa Zur, who can bowl in the death end also. And apart from that, yes, Shadul Takur has done phenomenally well in the last 
three, four matches with the domestic season because he's got runs. At the same time, he's been bowling phenomenally. It is very difficult. Yes, of course, uh, uh, MS Dhoni's trend we have seen now. Ritu Raj has taken the. I was just going to ask. <laughs> will MS? I beg your pardon. Will Ritu Raj drop Mustafizur for Pati Rana? So you you think See, he's you not... have to leave it to the captain? Who because it's a captain who has to have the trust and uh, you no know, kind of comfort from the bowler's perspective when it comes to names. So obviously Ritu Raj will have to you no know, little bit understand that it will take some time. Probably we have seen what MS did with. Uh, Deepak Chahar and Shadul Thakur and Patirana. Now it's a time where uh, Rituraj has to step in and uh, take. he will take some advices but still he will go with what he, his gut feeling goes for. So definitely I think whatever has happened in that first game, it helped them to win the game. So he will continue, he will not mix and match with that anything. Right, it seems like we are reviewing a movie here because this first weekend, I mean the kind of games that we have had, right? One final question on the week that's gone by, Himang, please ask your question, Himang Negi. Hi everyone, uh, happy Holi first of all to uh, all the legends out there in the studio. My question is for uh, Balaji sir. Uh, so, okay, I'll take you back to Eden days. Uh, how did you find Harshit Rana's week, first week and that tremendous performance against a strong SRH batting lineup? Yes. Definitely bowling the last over under pressure after giving fast ball a six and then coming back into that the game is always hard. I mean, as a bowler, I have underwent that kind of situation <laughs> in Eden Garden <laughs> itself. <laughs> it is not easy, but for a youngster, you have to give credit to the management at the same time. They have recognized his talent last year. There was a pace because uh, normally when you see Indian fast bowler, the extra pace is very important, which we are seeing in the. Uh, recent past, so Ashish Rana produces the pace. I mean, straight away getting that opportunity, giving that role to bowl that last over was phenomenal. You have to accept and give credit for his composure and temperament which he managed in that match. Right, now that's the week, the weekend that has gone by. But boy oh boy, when we look at the schedule of the matches that are coming up in this, in this week, I'm salivating already and one of them has to be the Royal Challengers Bangalore taking on Kolkata Knight Riders. Uh, but Kev bhai, you are right now in Bengaluru. The most exciting matchup I think uh, the way KKR played the first match, they looked in control. Of course, it went to the last over, but the way the way Russell batted, the way Salt batted, uh, they have the spinners, they have the fast bowlers, Rana finishing the, the last over in style. I think uh, KKR looked in control. I think uh, I'm going to keep them in top four. And, uh, and uh, against RCB, talking about, I think I'm going to go uh, Russell versus uh, Siraj, maybe in the death over. Right, okay. So, uh, the one thing that we are missing out on is uh, last year when LSG played RCB, there were some fireworks and uh, now those fireworks might be with the KKR unit because Gautam Gambhir is there. Kev bhai, when the last time it happened, it was a very long night, you remember too. The next day was very fast. What do you think this time? Going back to Bengaluru because Virat and Gautam going back to Bengaluru because Virat and Gautam Gambhir coming together how do you see that match as far as emotions and passion is concerned? I think uh, this is a fantastic place to, to play. It's a high scoring venue. Batters are going to enjoy the, the, the bowling. Choti choti boundary hai, bohut maza aata bale bazi karne mein aur jo apne naam liye hai. No, just to see Russell, the way he batted first game, no, he has set IPL on fire because jitne bhi gainbaaz hai, unko ab bilkul ek, you know, ek bura sapna aayega bhai ki Russell form mein aage. Pichle saal unko kharaab gaya bowling kari, but batting mein nahi chal paaye. Is saal pehla match, the way he batted, I think uh, KKR ko bohut fayda milne wala hai. And uh, we've got Shubhanjan Chakravarti who's also Shub Shubhayon Chakravarti. Did I get your pronunciation right, brother? Yes, yes, you did, you did. Shubhayon Chakravarti from Ref Sports. Uh, so, my question is uh, regarding that uh, match, uh, the big match we are playing between RCB and KKR. So, Mitchell Stark and Virat Kohli both had a mediocre uh, start uh, in the, in, of this IPL. So, how are you looking at this battle, especially at the Chinnaswamy? Okay, so first thing, 
I like how you said we are going to play against RCB. Clearly, you're a Kolkata Knight Riders fan, Mr. Chakravarti. Also, who are you addressing this question to? Uh, anyone can ask. Tom sir can ask, Balaji sir can ask, Cap sir can ask. So, look, there are some... Uh, Allegiances <laughs> as far as Lakshmi Balaji and Mohammed Kaif are concerned. So why doesn't the neutral answer that question, Tom? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting because they're two very high-profile uh, figures in the IPL. Obviously, Mitchell Stark getting picked up for an enormous amount in the auction. Virat Kohli, say no more. You know, his record in uh, in the IPL is uh, is second to none. Uh, but the interesting thing is is that if any bowler early on with the new ball, you want bowling against Virat Kohli. That's a left arm quick bowler that can swing the ball back in. So you can guarantee Virat Kohli be going into this contest cautious of Stark's in-swinging delivery. But if he can get through the first couple of overs, look out because we know what he can do if he spends time at the crease. Is Virat Kohli going to hit a purple patch of form or is Mitchell Stark going to see red? You see what I did there. Right, uh, who's asking the next question? Imam, if I'm not wrong? Imam, where are you, man? <laughs> I yes. am right here, Surin. Yes, ask the question, please. Uh, my, my, my question is to uh, Cap, sir. Uh, does in his own, uh, in his opinion, does he think that the RCP bowling lineup is strong enough to stop uh, the KKR storm on a flat, on a very run, like uh, a flat deck on Chinna Swami that we expect a run fest? Can we expect a run fest by, by the KKR batters against the bowling lineup of RCP if they bat first? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, on, a, on a flat pitch team, those who bowl well win the match because I feel KKR has got the bowling. They got the spinners, they got Varun Chakravarti, they got Narayan. So, as Stark coming in uh, and Rana in form, I think bowling uh, has been sorted this year, even though the, the last game went to the last over. But overall, I feel on a flat pitch against Virat Kohli, I think spinners will play a big role. Someone like Narayan can come handy, someone like uh, Varun can come handy because Virat Kohli in the middle overs, he doesn't hit boundaries. He is a, uh, a strike rotator, he likes to play till the end. So, I think that content contest I'm looking forward to. Uh, Narayan versus Virat Kohli in that game. Well, Bala sir can help me out because Chinna Swami, the word Chinna means small. It's a very small ground. And if KKR, the way they scored those 200 odd runs, man, it's going to be a feast. Now, considering that we're talking about culture wars, Kolkata Knight Riders, we had Mr. Chakravarti who wanted to ask that question. You're part of the Star Sports Tamil feed. I, with my little tuti bhuti Tamil, managed to get my way, but it's a reflection of culture. How enjoyable is it for you to be with your mates? in the com box, whether it's Chika sir, whether it is Murli Vijay, whether it is uh, Balaji. It's always fun because uh, you get to meet your friends and uh, the camaraderie is always good. M Vijay and Chika sir, of course, we all know he is an entertainer and it is uh, definitely an experience and uh, thanks to Star Sports and given me the opportunity to be here and be at the venue, witness some of the greatest games. So, it's been a phenomenal experience for me. Come on, tell us, inside of it, Prithuraj Gaikwad, the captaincy, what was the chat after the game? Because we saw a lot of discussions between former captain and current captain. I, I think it is the right decision because Ritu has uh, led Team India to win Asian Games gold medal. So, over the period of time, last 3-4 years, he has been consistently performing, won the orange cap for Chennai Super Kings, won a couple of uh, IPL trophies. So, it is something which I feel it is very important and uh, they addressed this right away in the up front of the season. So, definitely from here, Ritu will be looked at uh, a little bit given that kind of space. I'm sure the legacy which MS Dhoni create, nobody can match all over the world. Nobody can match at the present. I mean, the way he has uh, you know, created legacy, the way he has won matches with his captaincy as well as his, his phenomenal performances uh, when it comes to finishing. And uh, in that role, definitely the expectation side will be a little bit of you should not expect anything or you should not compare anything from Ritu. He's a new starter. Again, give that kind of a confidence. Let him grow from here step to step and make this franchisee and gain to a next level. Wow, gentlemen, thank you so much for all these insights. Kev, bhai, you're there in the stadium before the people start uh, thronging the stadium and uh, hounding you. Thank you so much for joining us on Star Sports Press Room. It's been an absolute pleasure. And since we are on the topic of new captains, well, Ruturaj Gaikwad is the new captain of Chennai Super Kings. Taking a leaf out of new captains, 
this whole playbook, Shumman Gill, with 168 odd on the board against Mumbai Indians. Just power hitters, brilliant batsmen. How did he fare on his first night out? Yeah, I think he did a good job. Uh, the one thing that impresses me with Shumman Gill, and I first noticed this in the Under-19 World Cup, is his composure. You know, when he's at the crease, he's very composed, he looks very much in control. And we've seen that as he's transitioned into IPL, as he's transitioned into uh, the three different formats for India. And now, uh, yesterday, we saw it, you know, as a leader in a very tricky, high-pressured situation. He looked like he, you know, had composure. But I tell you what, if you want to re-watch that match, watch him at the end of that match and the emotion coming out of him and the celebration coming out of him. And that was the relief of just making that positive step forward in his new role as captain. Right, thanks, thanks Tom. Um, members of the media, we have another question coming in from Anuj, someone uh, of my favourite app, Sportskeeda. I actually do. Anuj, are you there bro? Yeah, uh, first of all, happy holiday to everyone. Uh, my question is to Tom Moody. So, uh, Tom, uh, being a former uh, SRH coach, you know, uh, what would you want to say about the kind of uh, batting that they had in the first game? You know, some eyebrows were raised when there was no Travis Head. And once again, uh, Henrik Klassen had to do some heavy lifting at the end, you know. Like, since he is in that form, SRH got that close. But do you think that they need to figure that out, you know, ahead of the next game against MI? Oops. Yeah, look, I think it's an interesting one. We all, we've all talked about SRH and their strength of their overseas players. They've got an extraordinary uh, array of overseas players they can select. And given they have made Pat Cummins the captain, it, it's nearly limited their flexibility and what they can do. I think the four overseas players they had in that first game were the right four to start with because Marco Janssen has come into this tournament in really good form. He was very, very pivotal to their success in the SAT20. Uh, and he gives them that balance. Travis Head uh, is clearly a, a dangerous player at the top of the order, but they've also got three very good Indian top mm. order players. You know, in Mayank Agarwal, you've got Abhishek, Abhishek Sharma and Tripathi. So that's a pretty red hot top three. And then you've got Markham and Klaassen. So, you know, I think that at the moment is the right balance. And I think the last thing SRH need to be doing is starting to make changes after game one. We're not even 10 games down and the questions, they're just flying, right? Kashif from ETV, my friend, please go ahead with your question. My question is to Balaji. How challenging is the transition for a pace bowler known for his proficiency with Hanju ball like Sandeep Sharma and Mohit Sharma to adapt and excel as a death over a specialist by the incorporating various bowling variations? I think Mohit and Sandeep has been uh, phenomenal in the last two seasons. They've got the new role and they've got the mixture of like uh, the variations in, for their advantage. But at the same time, they've been a, a consistent performer. Sandeep, in, uh, in, in, a, in a way, like he's a proper new ball bowler when he came into Punjab Kings and uh, after that, he has changed into a very good dead bowler. Mohit Sharma has been injured for a while and then Gujarat picked him for a net bowler. From there, he transformed himself into a complete bowler. Last season, he got a fifer against Mumbai Indians. It's been a phenomenal transition. And definitely, it is not an easy stuff. As you gain no, I mean, experience, definitely, over the period of time, you understand the game. The game is also you know, going to a next level. So you have to have that matchup. So definitely, they, these two have done phenomenally well for the respective teams. Oh, right. And that brings us to the final question, uh, which is coming from Ankit from India.com. Uh, hello, happy Holi uh, to everybody. Uh, uh, well, over the past three days, there have been many moments that have made news. But none like, of course, the Rohit Hartik saga. How would you like to read into the alleged uh, scene of events that's currently being played out in the MI camp? Hartik has been at the receiving end uh, and he's been facing a lot of criticism. Do you think there could be a swap in captaincy if Mumbai continue to lose matches? Balaji, the question is for you. I don't know, you already have a smile on your face. Moody, you could also take the question, Tom, so yeah. First up, I like how he called it a saga. <laughs> so there you go, ah, sir. It's been going on for a while, definitely. It is not, uh, I mean, something which uh, normally you see a lot of trends as in happen. Uh, players have gone to different uh, franchises. Yes, this is one of the cases. But being in a professional field, you have to accept. Yes, one side is emotional, one side is something very big. When you come to replace a personality like Rohit Sharma, who's already a phenomenal uh, achiever when it comes to Mumbai Indians. So, 
definitely it will take some time it will sweat so you have to win your own men so as for ardik to win the own dressing room it's very very important uh, as a player and as a human so definitely that trust needs to be earned over the period of time it will take some time to adapt and accept and i'm sure he is good enough i'm sure he is good enough and he is a professional and he will accept that whatever and he's got a young team around him and make sure as they start winning the emotions will be different if they start losing then you have a problem to face so slowly things will crop up so it is better to have the in the other front in a winning front rather than losing front but he also asked one question and that seems the most incredible thing i mean is there a possibility the captains might change for mumbai indians in the middle of the season i'd be very surprised if that's the case um you know i think mumbai indians have made this decision looking long term and it'll be very short sighted if suddenly five games in or eight games in it all changes that long term vision so i think the hardik pandya um uh, elevation in that leadership role is controversial it was and as a shock it was to a lot of people particularly the mi fans um i think it's a long term decision so i i the, the thing that uh, bala mentioned about you know making sure that he wins that dressing room and builds those strong relationships with key people in that dressing room is the key to his success moving forward for once i have loved playing the bystander and being the mediator between the media and our experts well friends journalists and uh, our esteemed panel here i really want to thank you for all the questions and i want to thank tom moody and lakshmipati balajin of course mohammed kef who's also part of the star sports press room thank you so much for watching we'll see you soon